Good morning. My name is Dean Jones. I'm at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm here with you today to kind of showcase this little guy. It's actually called a little guy. Um, it's, a, it's a nice little trailer. We just get on trade. Um, it's on my truck, so the truck's not for sale, but it's just to kind of demonstrate that a little mid-sized truck will pull this guy. Uh, the stock number on this little guy is 5U211-811. It's a 2018 model. We'll go over some of the front stuff here kind of quick, and uh, we'll walk around the truck and get to the back side. But this is a nice little carrier they do for the battery. Get a shot of that. And you also got a nice little 20 pound um, returnable bottle for propane. So you don't have to actually take this trailer to a U-Haul or anything like that. You can just actually pop this out, go switch it out of the gas station, be right back in business. Um, we do have one deep cycle battery in this guy. And again, it just closes up real nice and it does lock. Then you've got these two little, these little straps here to hold it down. We've also got um, whoever had this before outfitted it with a really nice jacket lipper bike rack. So this is a double bike situation. You just strap your bike in and it's good to go. It does have a power tongue jack um, up and down. And of course it does have a seven way plug. Um, the, it's just a really neat little trailer for a nice little truck. Let's walk around this side and uh, again the truck's not for sale. I wanted to show you one more thing in this guy. Um, you do have, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little battery disconnect right there behind the battery. So you can actually pop that off and just disable the, all the power on the trailer with one, one, one switch. You do have leveling, but it is a manual leveling system. It's a scissor jack. There's one on each side. So on each, both sides of the front, both sides in the back. There's a little crank inside. We don't we don't have it unhooked, so I didn't bring them down this time. But uh, but yeah, that's how you'd level this guy. It's not a four season coach. It's got a pretty exposed underbelly. I don't know if you can see this down here. Um, keep it. You know, my, you got your black tank. You have your fresh water tank, and these are your low point drains. But there's no like insulated underbelly in here but you do have a composite floor in this guy, so it should hold up to the elements. Um, you do have gate valve here for black and a gate valve here for gray. Real easy to get to. Um, right here, you do have a six gallon um, gas hot water heater. Real nice, easy to access. It's got a good height too, so if you need to winterize it or whatever, it's right there. We do have see what's in here. This is a power cord, I believe. Let's see here. Should have had this open. Oh no, that's your tank, Bill. I'm sorry. That's your fresh water tank and then it's your city fill right there. So and then here's your cable input. So the inside's pretty neat and there's like a little televator, but this is where you would plug in if you're at a campground. You plug your satellite or your dish into here and it'll go in the coach and you do have an out port on the other side i'll show you in a minute but the, the the whole camper is made out of aluminum and fiberglass so it'll hold up to hail um, on the top i don't know if you can see up there you do have a 15,000 btu uh, ac you do have a solar panel you have a vent and then you also have a king digital uh, antenna on this guy so it's it's really fully loaded actually for for a little guy that it is um, right here you do have your 30 amp power we do have it plugged in right now um, and you do have this this really aggressive high clearance um, stance on this guy so you have this mutter tire aluminum wheel and then right here is your outdoor shower if you want to clean off the dog or wash your boots or whatever if you're out hiking you just want to rinse off real quick that's where that is you do have hot and cold. Now, usually you get pass-through storage on the front. This one's got it in the back because the bed's in the back. So right here is a good place for your, your 
hose storage if you were to need to hook up and dump your tanks. This is what this is all about. And it does lock, or it, does lock, it shuts and closes. But you also have slam latches, and you have a magnet catch on these doors, and I like that because it makes it really easy to access your stuff. And see how much room you have in there? It's quite a bit, and it's un unobstructed. And there's your little awning crank. But it is a teardrop trailer, and it kind of pays homage to the to the uh, the old canned ham campers of the 50s and 60s. We do have LED brake lights. We have a 150 ton weight trailer back trailer back here, but it's more for just like bike racks or some accessories. I, I, I don't see a power cord, so I wouldn't think that this guy would actually tandem anything. Just something to know. And I don't know if you can see with that sun in your eyes. There's a little dome above that window, and what that does is you plug in a little Furion camera, and with that system, that's already into the 12 volt. Now, they have these little suction cup monitors for your tow vehicle. I could put something on my truck in the front, put the camera on, it's all Bluetooth, and I could always see what's going on behind me when I'm towing. So that makes it, the whole package kind of feel smaller and you kind of know what's going on behind you. I love that system. But coming around, we see the other side of the, the pass-through storage. This is the uh, other side, same thing, slam latches, magnets. This is, uh, this is how you would actually open the awning right here. It's just a nice little six foot awning. Works out real well, doesn't take long. It's a little windy today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shut it. You do have an LED light strip to the whole thing, kind of lighten up the, the campsite. This is your furnace. Um, I think it's about a 10,000 BTU furnace. It heats this coach, no problem. It is. It does run on propane. You also have a nice little propane stub out right here. This guy, so if you had a low pressure gas grill, um, because it is already regulated in the front there, you could put a nice little grill out here and just access your propane right here so you don't have to carry a separate bottle. I love that feature. You do have Fury and outdoor speakers. These are marine grade, so they can take the weather. But it's a nice little, you know, gets the tunes out here playing. Uh, this is a little hook. Oh, this is a TV mount. I'm not sure what this is, but this right here, little HDMI cable if you want to put a TV up here and your cable out. So if you had like a, a DVD player in there and you wanted to make it access the TV, it's all wired for that. Then you also have a nice little dual USB and 110 outlet right there. The windows are really neat. All, all these windows, I have this one open to show you, they kind of louver out. Um, nice tinted glass or plastic actually, but uh, yeah, you can just open this whole coach up and get a lot of air through there. You do have a, this is your door bracket and a nice little fold up step. Before we go in, I just wanted, so the, the whole length of this trailer is 21 feet. Um, the width is a seven foot width. The height at the very top is nine foot one inch. And the interior height is gonna be six foot five inches. So the tall, anyone over six five are gonna have a little, have to duck in there. Um, your dry weight on this whole trailer is 31, 3,140 pounds. You've got a GBW, of uh, 3,800 pounds, which gives you a payload of about 660 pounds you can load this up with, with water and all that stuff. You do have a fresh tank of 20 gallons. You have a gray tank of 14 and a black tank of nine. Um, the awning is a six foot awning. The AC is a 13,500 BTU. So I'll show you the inside. So this actually sleeps three, and uh, the, the dinette behind you makes a booth, but 
We'll show you that in a minute. This is a nice queen bed. You do have a nice little window here if you want to get the light in there. There's a lot of diff, there's a sound bar in here, um, a lot of storage up here, some reading lights, a nice window to keep it, the air flowing through here, and a nice 110 outlet with a nice little uh, under, under drawer there. I'm going to switch places with you so you can see that. So coming to the kitchenette, this is a place you could put a microwave if you wanted. I think they opted away from it because they didn't want one, the previous owner. We do have a two burner stove that runs off the propane, a nice deep undermounted sink with the cutting board. I mean, for a little micro, there's a lot going on with this guy. You got a nice little sprayer here. Uh, there's your remotes for your uh, TV and your stereo. If you notice, you know, nice little drawer spots here. There's your uh, silverware drawer. You've got a nice little drawer there. More storage here. There is a pantry on this side, and there's a hanging rod in here. We'll show you in a minute. And this is a nice little portable electric only uh, refrigerator with a little freezer inside. Nice little deep drawer here for pots and pans. Now this little guy here is where you would uh, check your your 110 or your, your fuses. So if you had a fuse out, there's a little red LED lights over here that'll actually let you know which ones need to be changed. They go out from time to time. It's good to have those extra with you. Um, you do have a nice little carbon monoxide detector. And this is your heating duct right here. So there's no holes in the floor. Um, it's all coming through ducts. So that's kind of nice. Nothing to clean out there. And right here, you do have a, a solar controller. This is a ZAMP solar controller. You do have the one solar panel up there, and it's charging right now because it's a nice sunny day. Um, you also have a nice little Dometic uh, thermostat. So this will run the AC. It will also run the furnace. Um, no problem. So that's just like your house. Um, and you do have a nice little wet bath here. I'll let you get a shot of that. I kind of like the B-Vans. It's kind of a closet. It does have a fantastic fan in the, in the roof. and he just doubles as a shower. But it has a nice glass door, so you're not messing with curtains or anything like that. You just, I mean, for a little micro camper, this has just got a lot going on. Now, this is pretty interesting too, I thought. This has got a televator in it. So if you're not watching TV, you just put it away, which is kind of nice. Good, good way to travel on that. And you also have, a manu like a manual switch here if you don't know where the remote is or if it's back there. But you can literally put that up from your bed and watch it from your from your back bedroom because it is such a short camper. Um, we do have a little bit more storage here. Got a couple of cranks there. This will lower. It'll sit on these cleats. And you can take these cushions and make it a bed across there. So it's this is where you get the third sleeper. If it's a couple with a little one, this is, I, I would actually accommodate. Um, there is no privacy curtain from, from front to back, but that could be probably installed if you, if you wanted some privacy back there. But you do have all this nice woodwork, this nice light, I think birch looking woodwork. But you do have little cubbies everywhere. And again, you have these nice little windows that just pop out. And they just come out and then you, you lock them down like that and you get cross breeze, if you will. You do have nice little reading lights here. You want to do some reading in here at, the, at your booth. And the last thing I'll show you is this little cluster here. This is the instrument panel that kind of runs the whole camper, and it's in a nice spot because you can kind of um, just do it from inside or out. This is your stereo. It's actually it was creating static, but this will go. You have speakers inside. You have speakers outside, and you can go zone one, zone two. Um, you can plug it in so it's all playing both sides. Um, you do have USB. You can HDMI into it. You can Bluetooth into this guy. You do have your uh, water heater controls here, your water pump there, your interior lights on and off. This is your awning light that was on out there. And then you do have your handle step light right here. It's a nice little light there. And then your porch light. So and you do have a 110 there and your nice little fire extinguisher. 
But yep, yeah, that's that's the little guy. It's kind of a short video, but it's a kind of a short unit. So um, again, my name is Dean Jones. If you want to talk about this little guy, if you have a nice little mid-sized truck and you want to go camping this summer, uh, give us a call. Uh, my number is 720-347-7063, or you can get me at deanjones at transwest.com. Be happy to tell you anything you want to know about it. Thanks for uh, touring the little guy, Max, and uh, we'll see you next time.